everyone, it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plans, and today we are going in and we're going to review the new Crocodile Disc Punch Punch um, that just recently came out on Michael's website, as well as I've seen it in a few other spots, but it like officially released sometime last week, if not like the week-ish before that. Um, so I thought it would be fun to kind of do a test and see what the deal is with this punch. I know Crocodile punches are supposed to be a little heavy, um, like heavier duty kind of punches. Um, it might be able to punch through some thicker things. Um, so I thought it would be fun to kind of compare that with our Happy Planner punch because I know for a fact that this does not do very well punching, um, you know, through anything super thick. Um, I've tried punching through like double cardstock and some laminate and it doesn't work very well. Um, I mean, it's possible. It definitely is possible, but I feel like it definitely breaks the punch a little bit. Um, the downside is this is a single hole punch, so you'd have to punch, you know, all your holes individually. But honestly, if it can punch through some thicker stuff, I'm not mad at that. And I got it for that reasoning to see, you know, what the difference is and all that stuff, like, is the stem length the same as, like, the Happy Planner? Like, can this be, like, a really good similar different option to grab um, if you need, like, a heavier duty punch? If you're trying to make some, like, planner covers and all that stuff, um, which, you know, if you want a little bit better quality. Um, I know there's, like, the Arc Punch out there, and then there's another punch out there that do work for heavier duty punching, but they're stems, which, when I say stem this picture of our punch right here that's what i mean like the stem how long this is um is a little different with the arc punch and then i think there's like a levenger punch um so there's different disc punch out there um so we're gonna check this one out so i got mine from michaels.com um i ordered it on when did i order it i ordered it sometime at the end of like the, oh, I ordered it on the 6th. There we go. <laughs> I ordered it on the 6th and it just came in um, this past weekend. It was $29.99. I had a 30% off one regular priced item. So I used that. So it brought it down to $20.99. So, um, and then shipping was $6.25 and then the tax was $2.31. So I paid $30.25 total, which, you know, that basically just meant I got free shipping basically because it was originally $29.95. I basically got free shipping and only paid a little bit in tax pretty much is what I paid. So I'm not mad at it. I figured that was a pretty good compromise. Um, I still got it like on a discount, I guess. Um, so here it is. It came in like already like busted open. So I was like, that's cool. Um, so I'm just gonna take that out then because apparently we don't need it. So here's our disc punch and in here it shows you here's the actual size. So if this is the actual size, that actually means the stem is a little longer. Um, if we bring this over to this one, you can see, sorry, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see that stem is a little bit longer um, than the Happy Planner stem, which might not be a bad thing because when you punch um, a cover, you have, let's see, so I'm going to show you, I made some little sample laminated things that are different thickness so these are like three sheets of cardstock in here um and then this one's like seven <laughs> just so we could see like what it could punch through but usually when you laminate something and if you put it through a heated laminator um it leaves like this little bubble to where you can't punch through um where you can't cut off because if you cut that off it's going to open the seal of your lamination that you did um so i'm wondering if with that stem being a little bit longer that'll make my punch be more where i might want it um so that might not be a bad thing so we'll definitely try these out and try punching these with this punch and see you know if we can punch a little bit of a thicker um but here's the packaging it comes in you can see it's showing you uh you know, it's a disc punch. It's meant for discs. Uh, and it says it can punch through fabric, chipboard, leather, thin tin, and plastic. So if that's the case, and this is already going to be a better punch than the Happy Planner punch, um, because I know this cannot punch through fabric. I'm pretty sure it can't punch through chipboard or leather. Um, definitely not tin. Um, and then it has a hard time punching through plastic. It can, but 
very thin plastic, it definitely has a problem with that. So, already, this is looking pretty promising. So, if that's all the things, so let's look at this. So, it has a locked position and it has an open position. I haven't used... I haven't used one of these in a hot minute, I'm not going to lie. It's been a while since I've used a crop -a dial um, but it is locked, so i got to figure out how to unlock it. There we go. I unlocked it so by sliding this little, so that way it opens, so you can lock it, so that way it stays closed for better storage if you don't want it popping open, um, but squeeze it and then pull down, and it's going to open that up. All right, what do we have? And this shows you the stem right there three quarters I don't think this thingy moves I'm not sure though I'm pretty sure this thingy doesn't move I think it's just kind of there to show you that's the distance that it measures in between each punch so out of curiosity let me grab a piece of happy planner paper because this is what a standard happy planner um, sheet is punched at lengthwise so I'm gonna throw this in here because I'm just curious to see are these would these punch in like the same realm and I think so so I think it's about the same distance so this measures out the distance in between your punches which will make it a lot easier you know when you're trying to do a sheet um, since you do have to do them individually so that's good it's gonna measure that out for you so let's see how this does punching let's go through this one so this is just some laminate um, and then I did three pieces of cardstock, just regular weighted cardstock stacked on top of each other. So let's do over here is just showing two. So let's just punch through that and just see how we do. Oh, that was like butter. That was like the easiest punch ever. Okay, let's try over here. And remember I have like that weird, I have a weird like bump over here because of the thickness of that outer rim and that still punched through like butter so that's good news and I actually punched I don't know if you can see I didn't even punch the end I like pushed past it so it's actually closed so that's kind of funny but this has punched it punched through both of these things like it was nothing so let's punch through this one this is one two three four five six seven pieces plus the lamination so let's see how it punches through this. It does it. Let me do that again. I had to like reef adjust my hand because I wasn't prepared for the pressure of that. Okay, well it punches through. I don't know if you could see how thick that is, but it punched through it like it was nothing. So you guys, I'm going to say, okay, let's do this. Um, Let me... Let's take this paper. <laughs> I'm curious to see like what the actual, you know, what the actual punch looks like. So let's slap this on here. Put that there. I think you would have to go the opposite way in order to know where to punch, right? Because you want to put that in the little hole there. And then that's where you would punch. I'm doing a horrible job. I think you need to be a little bit level. <laughs> but that does look like it's giving me the same distance. So let me try and do a little bit better of a job. Because that was a horrible job. I'm trying to line it up with that other one. I'm just trying to figure out how you figure out how to start the first punch. If that makes sense. I don't get how you start the first one. This is definitely like one of those tools that I'm going to have to like play around with, but I see you stick that in there and then you can go in and punch and then you stick it in and then we punch and then you stick it in, then we punch, you stick it in, oops, I'll get that one crooked and then we punch. So it's looking like, I'm going to pull my little planner over here. It's looking like they are the same distance when you do it that way. So that's good news. It's the same distance as what a happy planner is. You just have to figure out, you know, where exactly you're supposed to start that punch. Because I started mine too high. I was trying to line it up with this one. But 
maybe there's got to be a better way. I'm not great at measuring, but once you get it started, it is easy to just line it up with your previous punch with this, and then you just go along and do that. Um, I would definitely say doing this on a level surface, which this bottom is pretty flat, so even doing it like on this notebook might be a little bit easier, and then just moving along so that way it's not bumping and moving all around might be helpful. Um, so, and then I know there is a compartment because none of those pieces have come out and it says open right here. We open that and then all of those little pieces are in there, stored in there. So it does store them so you don't have a bunch of little papers going all around. Um, but you guys, I actually really like this. The stem is a little bit different. Um, let's pull it over here so we can have a better comparison even if I put it on top it is it's like the slightest bit longer and it's honestly not enough to bother me um the fact that this can punch through pretty thick stuff do I have any cardboard I do have cardboard I don't think it's going to punch through cardboard I don't think the cardboard would fit in there but let's try it I have my Michaels box here that it came in I'm going to cut off a piece of this real quick let's just see I don't have like any other thick materials like I don't have any leather in my house so I can't like show you on leather but if it says it can cut through leather leather it says on the back of the packaging then it should be able to cut through leather right okay let's punch this oh my gosh you guys you could punch some cardboard if you wanted to look at that beautiful it didn't even have to like think about it so easy Oh my gosh, you guys, the possibilities. I'm going to be punching literally everything now. Everything's going to be Happy Planner punched. I'm like looking around my craft room trying to see what I can punch now because I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, I'm pretty sure this can easily punch through covers. So if you want to resize, say a classic size cover to like a mini cover or skinny cover, um, and then you end up needing to cut off like the old punches, and you could easily go through this and re- punch it. So possibilities are endless for us happy planners or any other disc loving, um, disc bound loving planners, but this punch is awesome. And I'm so excited that I invested in this. Um, cause I was planning on getting an arc punch, which I think is around maybe like $15 more than this plus like whatever shipping would be. So I'm actually really glad that I got this for 30 bucks. Um, you know, if I had gotten it in store, I would have only paid like maybe like 25 bucks because I wouldn't have had to pay that shipping, but I had that 30% off. Um, but it wasn't saying it was available in store. I'm not a hundred percent sure if this will be available in Michael's stores. Um, when I looked online, it said it was only available online, but that could totally change because that was release week of this. So for all I know, it could be in stores now. Um, I will make sure to link this from, did I already take those pieces out or are they just lost in here forever? They might be lost. Um, I will make sure to take those pieces out, um, or I'm sorry, I will make sure to link this down in the description below um, if you want to check it out. I definitely say if you are trying to punch some sturdier things, this is definitely worth it. Um, I am pleasantly, actually I'm not surprised because Crocodile, you know, is meant, it's supposed to be a heavier duty punch. So I'm actually not surprised, but I'm happily, I'm just happy that it is doing what it's supposed to do. Um, I might even get some leather and make some cool leather covers. Like who knows? I feel like the possibilities are endless now with this paired with like my happy planner punch, which I can just use that for paper and then make sure that I'm not hurting my punch anymore. Um, and keeping my happy planner punch in a little bit better quality and then using this for the heavier duty or items. I'm pretty happy with that. So again, this was $29.99 on Michael's website. And then of course you have to pay shipping, but there's usually always a 20% off one regular price item. So use that. Um, I was lucky to have a 30% off at the time. Um, so definitely just be lookout. I know Michael's isn't that great right now with their coupons. So, um, but I definitely do think this is worth it. If you're needing a heavier duty punch, you want to make, make your own planner covers. Um, sorry, I'm finding more things to punch. I'm like, I just want to punch everything now. Um, you know, so whatever, you are needing punch that like it was butter, you guys. 
this is such a cool punch. Anyway, I hope this helps you if you were considering grabbing this punch. Um, I definitely do think it's worth it if you're trying to make your own covers and any anything else that you're wanting to punch. Like I said, I think it'd be really cool to punch some leather and stick that on your planner as like a planner cover. I don't know how to do that, but I think that would be a really cool idea. Um, so I definitely think this punch opens up possibilities for lots of fun things that one of like yes it's an, a single punch but one of these like it would be a lot harder to slide you know leather into so I feel like this you can just do individual pieces and not have any problems with that so I hope this video was helpful you guys definitely check this out it'll be linked down in the description below I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope I'll see you in my next one bye